Okay, my name is Miles. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make a hydrogen fuel cell with aluminium plates. Now these are the plates that um, I made by cutting a sheet into about, about 31 uh, pieces. I got, a, uh, sand, I got some sandpaper, I roughened it up, cleaned it all good and um, I should be starting to put my gaskets that I made in between every one of these plates. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 31 plates starting with uh, my, uh, zero, uh, negative and then four neutral plates and then positive and four neutral plates again and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting with um, negative and finishing with negative because I heard negative is the one that gives you hydrogen and um, the positive is the one that gives you oxygen so I want more hydrogen than I do oxygen okay I'm just going to show you how I want to be putting them together I'll be cleaning them again one more time with water and detergent get my gasket again Pull my gasket now what I didn't tell you what uh, is that with the negative and the positive plates I put a little notch if you can see it there it is little notch so I can put my um, so I can plug in the female um, plug-ins for the wiring so it should be um, easier to, instead of soldering them now if you've got a bit of a problem with the gasket going over that I've made my gaskets pretty wide pretty thick all you do is just cut a bit of a square here cut out the corner and then you can um, easily put your uh, connector into the plate okay I bought a uh, rubber mat from the hardware uh, I think it's two mil thick and I'm cutting it out making my gaskets as you can see I get a rubber mat like this that I've already cut out for my plates just line it up like this get a scalpel and make my own gaskets it's cheaper and easier to, to um, make yourself because I've been trying to get the proper gaskets um, but very hard to get the dimension that I want so I've got to make my own very simple okay now I just got to press it a little bit deeper And that's it. There's my gasket. Very easy. Okay, this is my hydrogen generator. I finished it. As you can see, it's got 31 plates, three positive, four negative. Then I've got the wires coming from there, from the negative and the positive terminal coming out of there. And that should be connected to my vehicle. They are aluminium plates. How they're going to react, I don't know. We will see. Some people say it don't work. Some people say it does work. I don't know, I've got to test it out and see if it does or doesn't.
If it doesn't, I can't put it in my car. If it does, no problem. Actually, it should be turned up the other way. There we go. These little pipes facing upwards. And that one as well. Pretty big generator, should work pretty fine. If it doesn't work, I might change the uh, positive and negative plates and put stainless steel plates and the neutral plates will be aluminium. I'll see how it's going to react like that. It is easier to make, it is easier to drill. See what happens. Okay, I've connected my um, aluminium HHO generator. Now, I haven't even connected it to the uh, electricity yet, the 12 volt electricity, and I don't know, it's already producing some sort of gas inside without electricity. Now, I'm a bit worried about that. Because if it's not produce, if it's producing um, gases, and it's not connected, I don't think I'll be putting it in my car. As you can see, there's a lot of bubbles coming out of there. There's my temporarily, temporary bubbler, but there's nothing coming out of there. Maybe it needs more compression or something, I don't know. Weird. All right, well, let me just, hmm. Okay, it's still producing gases. Now I'm gonna turn the uh, 12 volt electricity on and see what happens. Okay, there's a better reaction now. There's my bubbler. It is producing gases. But, um, yeah, I'll switch it off now. Okay, there's nothing, just a little bit more bubbles there, but I think that's the uh, leftover that's inside. Oh, there's some more coming out. Yeah, the reaction is still going, even when the electricity is shut down. Maybe the aluminium plates are too much for it, so I don't know what to do now. I should probably probably uh, put the uh, negative and positive plates, stainless steel, and the rest of this aluminium. Because it's still reacting, even if... Um, Maybe I should have tried it without any additives like chemicals that I've added and all that. Maybe I shouldn't have added anything, just maybe clear water. I'll probably try that and see what happens.